Dear learners, now we will discuss what is the relation between common sense and philosophy and the outlook approach of philosophy. If we want to know the philosophical aspect, the knowledge of philosophy, then we have to compare between these two that is common sense and philosophy. The man in a day has not changed to philosopher. Day by day he thinks, he thinks in a better way. He tries to find out the answers regarding this world. And as a rational being, he has his own rationality, basic thought, but the application of interpretation, he is discussing everything, he is getting the knowledge day by day. Here he is applying the law of interpretation because as a rational being, he has his rationality, he can interpret, he can analyze this world then he is applying his common sense. His rationality turns into common sense. Therefore, he has his local knowledge. He has the local analysis. And it depends upon his culture, his behavior, the ability of, ex ability of experience. Everything is there. So, he has his own interpretation. He has his own perception. By the application of the perception, he is applying his common sense. And with this common sense, he is learning his own environment. The environment where he is living. He is experiencing, he is getting experience from this environment. He is just applying his basic interpretation, basic rationality. So, the subject philosophy can be better understood if it is compared with common sense. Common sense is the first level of process through which knowledge is first established, knowledge is first acquire this common sense is turned to higher knowledge. Knowledge is further serpent to scientific process of learning. So, first common sense, then developed knowledge, then more developed knowledge turn into scientific process of learning. Then this second level of scientific knowledge is again developed, again mature and turned into philosophical knowledge. This can be better understood through the illustration given over here that common sense when added with rationality, added with new ideas, added with new experience turn to scientific knowledge. And this scientific knowledge, when it is added with further ideas, further observation, further experimentation, further implementation, interpretation, turned into higher scientific knowledge, that is the philosophical knowledge of human. So, philosophy is the highest knowledge. Scientific knowledge is needful. Common, common knowledge, common sense is needful, no doubt. But yet, the philosophical knowledge 
is achieved with the better development with better interpretation with better rational approach better applications of better interpretation so therefore we can say that the rationality is the basic concept it is the god gifted very systematic energized concept within the human being but the applications of the rationality human being are going forward from common sense to scientific knowledge and then scientific knowledge to philosophical knowledge from this it can be proved that common sense is the foundation of philosophical knowledge and intimate relation is exist there between them that is between the philosophy and common sense both are complementary to each other now we can see we can establish a difference between this also the point of difference is first difference in that sense common sense is the knowledge which people achieve through their common observation but in case of philosophy the knowledge which is achieved through logic analysis better interpretation and it is achieved by expert mind and by an philosopher from purpose point of view if we see we can say that there is no fixed purpose of gaining common knowledge it is exactly appearing within the human mind day by day he is getting such knowledge from his environment and he acquires it through day to day experience whereas from purpose point of view the philosophical knowledge which is acquired through philosophical process bears a certain objectives with vivid interpretation of his rationality interpretation of the common sense and higher learning of common sense higher learning of scientific knowledge higher applications of scientific knowledge develops towards the formation of philosophical knowledge then certainty and logical point of view we can say that general knowledge is uncertain it has no fixed area it is not static it is not coherent it is unorganized and illogical whether whereas philosophical knowledge is certain it's concrete most organized and most logical from superstition point of view you can say that common sense is sometimes biased to a superstition and social culture a man in which environment he is developing the man is forced to have and he is adjoined with various beliefs superstitions captive knowledge this much of thing inhibits his progress progress of discussion progress of interpretation so therefore common sense is associated with superstition is associated with social bindings social cultures community cultures etc but in case of philosophical thought it is not limited its knowledge is completely impartial it is impartial knowledge no personality is there it is a fair knowledge it is not at all associated with superstition it is not associated with social culture or social community knowledge community knowledge is not a philosophical knowledge philosophical knowledge is higher knowledge it is more, much more higher than the social culture from basic relations of point of view we can say that philosophy is not at all considered as the basic of common sense but in case of philosophy you can say that common sense can be considered as the basis of enhancement of philosophical knowledge actually 
at the basic level common sense is there and thereafter this common sense is sharpened and developed interpreted and thereafter it transforms into higher philosophical knowledge and changeability point of view we can say that common sense varies with the change of space time and context so this knowledge is not eternal and that this knowledge is not permanent whereas philosophical knowledge cannot be changed with the change of space because it is very much confident it is very much interpreted it is very much strong its base is very strong so therefore it cannot be changed with space time and context so it is permanent and eternal so we can say that in times of getting the philosophical knowledge all the philosophers are social being from birth to younger generation and to the higher development he is always having with his common sense common knowledge and this common knowledge is again interpreted again verified and again readjusted redefined eh? so a serpent and thereby this common knowledge common sense is turned into scientific knowledge and philosophical knowledge so that is why we have to learn why all these knowledge are related and what is the difference between two what is and how it is related among themselves and how it is transforming from one part to another so therefore we can say that the subject philosophy can be better understood with the help of common sense better common sense so second level of scientific knowledge is nothing but the philosophical knowledge so common sense is the further development of philosophical knowledge that is our conclusion and that is our conception and that is our perception so common sense and philosophical knowledge are in that sense it cannot be comparable both are complementary to each other